This house tour is brought to you by the new House & Home Designer Collection for Scotties. Eight great patterns to mix and match. Find your style with Scotties. We are in Oakville, Ontario. Tim and Robin, the homeowners, asked me to help them reconfigure the flow of their main floor. It is a 1980s home, and even though it's quite generous in size, the floor plan was really quite chopped up and it was not very conducive to their lifestyle. The kitchen in particular was very, very small, and we certainly wanted to augment that and give them something that would suit their lifestyle much better. In order to give Tim and Robin a much larger kitchen, we decided to actually combine the previous kitchen with the previous formal dining room and open up that space. So we took down the walls and we moved the current kitchen into the previous dining room and the current dining room now resides in the previous kitchen, if you will. The two spaces are really connected. The dining room is much larger and it actually allows them to entertain and host. We have this wonderful large dining table with two leaves that can extend. And if they have a really large gathering, it can actually extend further into the kitchen and even into the family room if need be. Robin and Tim really wanted a kitchen that did not feel overly like a kitchen. So we wanted to introduce elements that made it feel maybe a little more like furniture. The towers that flank the range are actually sitting directly on the counter, so they give you a bit of a hutch feel rather than actual kitchen cabinetry. So that really contributed to that, you know, unkitchen feel of the space. We really focused on a beautiful warm palette. It's black and white, but has a lot of hits of warm wood. Our island is actually mahogany. And then we chose this striking tile for the hood surround that gives it again a lot of warmth because of its color, but also beautiful texture. Although the kitchen is decidedly North American, it echoes certain elements of European, especially English kitchens, such as the fact that we have handmade brass hardware. It's made in the UK. We really love the antique feel of it. The island is mahogany. That was another nod to old world kitchens. It has very contemporary lines. So again, we're marrying a contemporary kitchen with those nods to European elements. Appliances are those pesky things that we all try to conceal, right? So we want to be sure that we make accommodations for that. So there is actually two sets of appliance garages and one houses their coffee station, the other one is for other small appliances. So we're able to very neatly, you know, put them away and uh, Tim and Robin can enjoy their beautiful kitchen free of unnecessary gadgets. <laughs> The family room was another space that Tim and Robin were really not happy with. Even though, again, it's generous in size and it has wonderful high ceilings, they really did not like the original fireplace. What we really wanted to do is give them a beautiful, comfortable, cozy space that also felt quite elegant and elevated. The core family is five, it's two parents and three sons. We have two generous, very comfortable sofas and two chairs. And we have this great big ottoman in the middle, that's the piece de resistance in this space, that they really love. It allows them to put their feet up when they're watching TV and it creates a really great intimate conversation area. What we really enjoy about this room is that the TV is not the focal point. When you walk into the room, what you really see is the new fireplace, which Tim and Robin really love, which is flanked by two big bookcases that allow us to display their books and objects. The TV is almost concealed on a wall perpendicular to the fireplace wall, so they can still very comfortably watch it from both sofas, but again, it's not something that we see right away when we walk into the room. We made the decision to add wood to the ceiling because it felt very much in line with Robin and Tim's aesthetic. They love spending time at their cottage. Their previous selection of furniture actually featured a lot of wood, so I knew that they really wanted that warm element, but we didn't want it to feel overly rustic. So we chose this beautiful stain color that gives them, at least to me, it gives me that feel of an English manor more than a cottage, and they really, really enjoy that. I'm really thrilled with how the main floor has turned out for Tim and Robin and so are they. We finished this project a few months ago and they have sent me several emails since and whenever we speak they tell me how much they truly enjoy this space which is really the biggest compliment a designer can ever receive from a client.